Good morning. We made it to Friday. Well done. I am super proud of you all. You have done some fantastic maths this week. Really good. And you have took your time. And I can see some of you have tried so hard with using your scales. So well done you. Big pat on the back and a thumbs up. Fantastic. You've made me very proud. Now today is your last maths. Okay. And this is where we're going to start recording. Okay. So on the back of your plan, you have got this sheet here. So you've got your scales at the top and it says, how much does it weigh? Okay. Now, if you haven't got a printer at home, absolutely fine. You can just do as I have done on my board, put it on my piece of paper, written the title. And then on this bit, I've picked to measure food. Now it's up to you. You can do food. You might want to do toys. You might want to do something completely different that you want to find out. You might want to do a bit of food and toys. It's absolutely up to you what you want to weigh today. But I've gone for food. Okay, so in this card, at the top, I've put food. And then underneath, I'm going to have to write each of my bits of food that I weigh today. Now, we're going to be using our scales again today. And remember, if you haven't got a set of scales at home and you're still using your balances, that's fine. You can just record like we did the other day when we weighed our toys, didn't we? And we put that in a sheet. So just record your food on that way. Or if you have got scales, which is great, we're going to do it with our G. Now, what did that G stand for? Can you remember? What did the G stand for? Grams. That's it. Well done. So we're measuring in grams today. Now, I thought I'd be nice and healthy. healthy. And it's Friday. So I thought Friday and fruit starts with a F. So I've gone for fruit. So I have got my trusty banana. I've got my apple. And I've got a bag, you might remember these, of raisins from our snack bowl. Okay, and I'm going to weigh each item and then I'm going to record it on my piece of paper. So the first one I'm going to weigh is my raisins. So I need to write that on there. U-A-C-N. Okay, now you can be a little bit sneaky. On this packet of raisins here, can you see... That it says it's this weighs 25 grams. Now, I'm going to see if it actually does weigh 25 grams. So, I've got my balancing scales ready. Let me put these back here so you can see. Okay, and I'm going to put my lid on. I'm going to make sure my pin is on zero. So, I'm just going to adjust it at the back. And I'm going to pop my raisins in. Now, oh, can you see that it went straight to in between 50? And that must mean... Half of 50 is 25. So next to there, I'm going to write a 2 and a 5 for 25 grams. Fantastic. Right, so my next one is, now you might remember from yesterday, my apple was my heaviest, wasn't it? So let's see. On my apple, I've popped it in there. So before I write, do that, I need to write it on here. So my apple, apple, my apple. Apple. Now, how much does my apple weigh? Let's have a look. So we're going to say 152. So one. Oh, so you can see. Yeah, you can see me writing. 152 grams. Okay. Now, my last item we are going to do is a banana. Banana. So I'm going to write my word banana. Banana. That's a funny word to write. Now, let's have a look at my scale. So, at my banana here, it's 150, it's saying today, because it's a different banana, so it's a bit different. Okay, so I have only weighed my three items, but you can weigh as many as you want. You might want to do two, you might want to do three, you might want to do ten. Okay, so that's up to you today. And then once you've recorded your um, weights of your different food, you need to have a look at our numbers today. So my raisins weigh 25 grams, my apples weighed 152 grams, and my banana weighed 150 grams. So looking at that, I need to find out which was my lightest item. So that what we're looking for when we're looking at the numbers is the smallest number means it's your lightest. Okay. So my smallest number on here is 25. So my raisins are the lightest lightest okay now between my apple and my banana they're quite big numbers but one is bigger than the other so which one was my heaviest was it 152 or was it 150 
That's right, you're right, it's 152. So my apple was my heaviest. Okay, and that's what your challenge is today. Go off, find a few different things that you want to find out how much they weigh. Make your table or use a printed one on the back of your plan. Record your findings and once you've weighed it all, which one was the lightest? Remember, you're looking for the smallest number. And which one was the heaviest? You're looking for the larger number, the bigger number. Okay, and then you can write next to it your lightest and your heaviest. And today you might just want to take a video of you weighing your things, or you might just like to take a video of your record your your sheet that you've recorded on. Okay, so well done with your weighing this week. I am a super proud teacher, and I know Miss Oliver is too. Have a lovely weekend, and we'll see you for next week. Next week. That's our final week of learning before we have a little break and a holiday. Okay, have a good weekend. Keep safe. Bye-bye.